Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups again in South Wales and you join me for part 6 of Guitar Soldering 101 and in this episode I'm going to be looking at soldering to the trim claw of a Strat and this is a Squire Strat which is going to be in a video on the Buck and Evans channel actually where we've actually put our pickups in and we're going to see if we can get this Squire Strat which costs us £60 to sound better than a custom shop so it's a big task and it should be a really good video. So I'm just working on this guitar for the next part of that video. And so just check it out if you get a chance, guys. Now I've got more trim, you know, I've got more wire than I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed a little bit of it back in because it's not going to do any harm in there. And I might need that length, you know, just in case you want to do something different with it. So I'm going to put that back into the loaded pickguard area and it won't do any harm there. And Probably something like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip back this wire. And I'm always going on about hookup wire and how easy it is to work with, and it is brilliant stuff, really. I'm going to tin my wire. Get it hot. And. Chop a little bit because it's great when you've got a little bit of excess cloth to work with. It can, it can make it easier to actually push up to the joint later on. Now I'm going to get the old one out now. I always need to be a, a little bit aware of the angle because if you get the angle like that, if you're working like that and trying to come in like that sort of angle, you're going to you're going to burn your paint. It's always something to be aware of. You'll see, I haven't masked off that many areas of this guitar because I'm not hugely worried about damaging it because it only costs us £60. But I'm going to get the pig nose pliers because that wire get very, very hot. Okay. So rather the end of the pig nose pliers than my fingers. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to make sure I'm on this side of the strings. Just make sure that's a little bit straighter. And ooh, it's not a lot of work, area to work with, but I'm going to get that. I'm going to heat up the solder and the tinning in one. Ooh, let's hope that wants to stay. We might add a little bit more solder onto the top. Just a touch. Ooh, flicks off, and that happens all the time. So you can use sort of lollipop sticks to hold. It down if you want to. Now I'm happy with that. You know that's going to stay there for decades. You could, if you wanted to, put it a bit more on the sort of along the side like that. Oh, I think I'm actually going to stay on the top. Yeah, perfect. And that is soldering to tremplo. Nice and shiny, and I'm going to push up the hookup wire. Take a little bit of doing, but it will happen. Oop, I'm going to get in your way a little bit. Actually, I've got a little bit more to play with. There we go, perfect. And I want it to be well out of the way where the action is on the spring. So I'm going to try it. Just carry on pushing that through now. So thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next part. Cheers, guys.